the officers accused of beating a homeless man at a Metro stop is no longer on the job. The Metro Police Department making that announcement just a short time ago. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is joining us live now with the developments in the investigation. So, Brandon, what will happen to that second officer now? Well, that second officer will be reinstated. This is the conclusion of an investigation by the disciplinary board. That officer will have to go through training now. As for the officer who resigned this morning, he resigned before he was fired. This is his resignation le uh, letter. It's brief, thanking Metro for service. First, Metro Police Officers Darius Warren and Daniel Reynoso approach Daryl Giles as he appears asleep at the Burnett stop on the Metro line on September 15th. Seconds pass. Giles gets up and appears to move toward Officer Warren. That's when Officer Warren beat him repeatedly with his baton. Then, the officers arrested Giles, though charges against Daryl Giles were dropped. It was excessive, and as I said last week, one is too many if it's not justified. Metro Police Chief Vera Bumpers confirmed Warren's resignation. It came after Metro conducted its own investigation into the matter. A disciplinary committee determined Warren should be fired. He resigned before that could happen. I believe that we took the proper action. As for the second officer, Officer Daniel Reynoso, his suspension has been lifted. He will return to the force. The chief says he'll have to go through basic training again. It's unclear now if former Officer Warren will face criminal charges. When asked if he should, Chief Bumpers wouldn't say. Based on what you've seen, though, would you be surprised at least if criminal charges were filed? Um, I would not get into that part at all. My focus was totally on the administrative part. Chief Bumper is also saying that this was all about peer accountability, as she put it. And what happened, she says, is not reflective of the other officers on her force. Meantime, we reached out to the attorney representing Mr. Giles. We have not heard back. We're live downtown outside Metro Police Headquarters. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.